Oh, I thought I was gonna have to, like, dance for him or some shit. Sir! Thank you. Don't mind my weird sneaky walk. You know, that's how it... You know, that's that's how I walk after Volgan has fun with my ass cheeks. Alright. You gotta go through all that shit, Snake. You couldn't just keep it on. Here it is. Okay, Sokolov. Is that an ink ribbon from... That is an ink ribbon. You can count on me. What about the Philosopher's Legacy? I don't know anything about that. Yes, you do, bitch. What are you... Are you trying to kill me? What's the matter? <gasps> I know nothing, I swear it. <gasps> no one but the Colonel knows of the Legacy. I see. No, don't! Oh. <gasps> this dude is afraid of lipstick. <laughs> Snake is smooth. Rocking that beard and that mullet. Who's there? Yeah, Sokolov, it's me, you remember? From the CIA. I actually made it in without alerting the whole damn place. What are you doing here? I told you before, didn't I? I'm going to get you out of here. <laughs> a man of honor, just like your commander. But I'm afraid you're too late. Too late? Don't tell me. The Shagohods. <laughs> we have the Shagohods exactly. doped up. The final preparations for Phase 2 are complete. Sokolov, what exactly is Phase 2? To put it in technical terms, it's a composite range extension system for medium-range ballistic missiles. The Shagohod was originally designed oh, as pretty. a tank that's that really could nice. launch nuclear missiles from any type of terrain. There was just one problem we couldn't figure looks out. Looks kind of like a, a dying frog, like on his the belly. The ICBMs we have today are simply too big for the Shagohod to carry. But the military would not hear of it. They demanded a weapon that could launch a nuclear missile directly into the American homeland. That is when I came up with the idea for Phase Two. It's kind of like They're bouncing like a jalopy. They're an ICBM onto the Shagohod. So how do you do it? By accelerating the Shagohod itself. Accelerating it? In phase two, a rocket booster unit is attached to the frame of the Shagohod. The unit incorporates the same technology used in the Vostok rocket that sent Major Gagarin into space. Using this booster, the Shagohod can achieve a land speed of over 300 miles per hour. That is fast. That monster can go more than 300 miles per hour. Yes. And from this state of accelerated motion, it launches a nuclear missile. So, the Shagohod acts like the first stage of a rocket. Yes, precisely. The range of the missile launched by the Shagohod thus increases from 2,500 miles to 6,000 miles. 6,000 miles? That's enough to strike anywhere in the United States. Not only that, with the Shagohod, there's no need to construct giant silos like the ones used to house ICBMs. All you need is a runway about three miles in length, or its equivalent. And you can launch a thermonuclear strike against any location in the United States from anywhere in the Soviet Union. It cannot be detected by spy planes or satellites. It's a mobile fortress capable of deploying in secret and launching its payload at any time. Damn, that is a bomb-ass weapon. Bomb -ass A 
completed prototype now sits in the hangar. At present, it is the only one of its kind. But Volkin is planning to mass produce them based on that prototype. And deploy them all over the Soviet Union. Yes. And that's not the end of it. He's going to ship them to Eastern Europe, to Asia, to all the countries of the Eastern Bloc. Even worse, he intends to use the Shagohar as bait to foment armed uprisings among dictators, ethnic insurgents, and revolutionary groups throughout the Third World. His funds are nearly limitless. He could start mass production tomorrow if he wanted. The reason that tensions between East and West have settled into a Cold War is because each side fears the other's power. Deterrence. The idea of using threats to keep one's enemy in check is the perfect word to sum up this state of affairs. But the Shagohard goes far beyond the level of threat. It will render the concept of deterrence utterly meaningless. If such a weapon is unleashed on the world, it will not be long before all nations are engulfed in conflict. The Cold War will end, and the entire planet will be consumed by the fires of war. Vulcan and the Shagohard will be at the center of it all. Damn, man. <sighs> so you see, Freaking Russians. it's already too late. No. Want to blow shit late. up. What do you mean? We've still got a chance. All we have to do is destroy the prototype and the whole facility before they can mass produce it. But just tell me what I need to do to destroy this place. You need a bomb. Is that good <laughs> All enough? Right. The liquid fuel used in the rocket engine is stored in a tank. If you can blow it up somehow. Some C3 ought to be enough to blow the entire hangar to smithereens. C3. You mean that cutting-edge plastic explosive? It can be molded into any shape. The bomb of the future. Where can I get it? Yep, C3 is there the granddaddy of C4. Here. It's gone now. It was stolen by a female spy who was here a minute ago. Eva? No, that's not her name. Her name is Tatiana. She made her way in here by becoming Volkin's lover. She's everybody's damn lover. I thought she was your lover. Mine? Oh no, she is Volgin's lover. Man, this bitch is loving everything. This is my lover. Can you just imagine how many penises Snake kissed when she tried to make Who out with him? My wife and daughter. Oh, look at his They're wife and daughter. His wife looked now like she had a really big forehead. Your family is in the custody of the CIA. How long has Tatiana been here? Only a few weeks. A few days before the virtuous mission, then. She said that Khrushchev sent her. What did you just give her? All of the Ink experimental ribbon. data for the Shagohod. Please, it is essential that you destroy the Shagohod. I will, but first I've got to get you to safety. <sighs> no. I'm not going. My mission is to rescue you. Leave me, Sokolov. Knock his bald-headed ass out, then. Khrushchev has abandoned me. I cannot return to my country. I would most certainly be sent to the Gulags. What about the U.S.? Yes, I once thought of that. My family's waiting for me there. But even if I fled to the United States... I would once again find myself creating weapons of mass murder. That's why you retire, again, Grandpa. It doesn't matter where I go. I am still a weapons scientist. To be honest with you, I'm tired. Like I said, there's a thing called retirement. Every day I help create things that should never be used. Things that should never have existed in the first place. Every day, without sleep. Without a word of praise from others. And my creations do not even benefit mankind. 